Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to review applicant information on your job openings in VTHR. I am logged into VTHR as hiring manager Penny Pottingham. So the first thing we need to know, do is find the job openings associated to Penny. So we click on main menu, recruiting, browse job openings, and then we choose, just to make sure we find everything, jobs associated to me, we want the open jobs, we'll leave it active within view all, but we could choose that frame of reference if we wanted to, and we're going to click on the little green refresh arrows. Now, if we wanted to see job openings that were still pending, then we would choose that um, filter. However, in this instance, we do want to look at the job openings that are pending, um, for Penny Pottingham, so the one that we want to work in today is the Administrative Assistant B. So we click on that title, and that will bring us to the Administrative Assistant B job opening that is associated to Penny. What you see here is the job opening for the Administrative Assistant B currently has four applicants. And what you can also see here is that these applicants are still just in O2O applied status. Recruitment Services has not yet routed these candidates. So none of these applicants are available for Penny Pottingham to take any action on at this time. However, you can still review the applications submitted by the candidates as well as their resumes if, if a resume is attached. So I clicked on the application icon next to Clark Kent's um, applicant name and it brought me to his application and I can scroll down through the application and I can see any information that he entered here on the application. This is also the questionnaire that he submitted so I can open the questionnaire and I can view the screening answers that he provided on that questionnaire. And I don't do anything with this information, I just view it and I cancel it when I'm done with that. And then close the applicant profile and I'm back at the job opening. So you just click on the application, left click on it to open the candidate's application information. And then when you're done looking at it, you close that tab and come back to the job opening. And the same thing with the resume that was submitted by the applicant. You can left click on it to open it. And in this instance, I need to click on the open dialog box. And it's going to open in a new window. And sometimes you need to click on your um, Word icon at the bottom of your screen to get this to open. I'm having a little trouble with that, which was because it was opening on my other monitor. But I found it. So here's the resume that um, was submitted by Jessica Rabbit. So I can close that when I'm done looking at it and close this window and I'm back at the job opening. So that's how you view applicant information. And as I said, at this point in time, you can't take any further action because these applicants have not yet been screened and routed by recruitment services. So our next step in this video is going to be to pretend that time has passed and that the application deadline has come and gone and that these candidates will now be uh, screened and routed. So just as a reminder, all classified job openings are posted for a minimum of 10 business days. At the end of that period, recruitment services will run the screening process and route candidates to you, which creates an email. So the hiring list is generated to you via email. And I'm also going to show you in another, in, later in this video how you can access the candidate list in a PDF format. So although you can go in and review the status of your applicants in your job opening before it's screened, you should not take any action on them until you do get that email with the routed candidate list.
So in our example with Penny Pottingham, time has now passed and the application deadline has taken place and she has now received her routed candidate list. So of the four applicants that we saw previously, we now have three in 050 route status and one, Jessica Rabbit, in not hired status, which means that Jessica's responses to the screening questionnaire indicated that she did not meet the minimum qualifications for this job opening, so her application was not forwarded, um, her name was not forwarded to the hiring manager for further consideration. However, these candidates are all ready to be selected for interview if applicable and um, processed as viable candidates. I also want to show you how you can get your candidate list in a, another format which can be easier to work with and sometimes, especially if you have a large applicant list, can really save you quite a bit of information. So I'm going to run a couple of reports and I'm actually only going to run one, but they both work the same way. So I'm going to click on Recruiting, Reports, and I'm finding the Vermont Detailed Application Report and I select that. And I now come to a page where I need to um, create a run control ID in order to run my report. So if you already have a run control ID, you can enter that here. If you've never set one up before, then you just add a new value and enter whatever you want for your run control. A lot of people will do their name, their first name, last initial, or maybe their employee ID. So I'm going to put Penny's first name and I'm going to click Add. So Penny's now just creating her ID to run her report. So we want to run the um, applicant list for the applicant, the administrative assistant B job opening that we just looked at. One of the things you need to know before you go ahead to run your report is what that ID was. So hopefully you made a note of it. Um, I did. It's 617412. In this example, I'm going to say include attachments, which means that any resume or other attachment that was included with all of the applications will come through in this report. If I have trouble getting my applications, my application report to run, then I would try to run this report without the attachments because sometimes applicants have a corrupted document that they've uploaded and it prevents the entire report from running. So I've entered the job opening ID, I want all applicants and I want for no limitations, I want no restrictions on the route date, I want all of the ones that were routed and I want the attachment. So I'm going to click on run and the spinning wheel will just process until we come to the next step. So now it's in process scheduler, I'm going to click OK and that will bring me to the process monitor. Well, I have to click on the process monitor. Okay, so now I'm at the process monitor and I click on refresh. And what I'm looking for is for the status here to change to success and posted. And when that happens, then I'm ready to go look at the results. So when you are in this screen, you don't need to click refresh, you know, second after second after second. You let a little bit of time go by because the system is processing your request. And so it can take a little bit of time for it to do that. And for bigger applications with more uh, content in them, then it will take a little bit longer for the process to run. So this can be a good time to hum a verse of your favorite song or say a little mantra or just take a little um, rest break for your eyes. So we're going to click refresh again and now our status is success and posted. So I click on the details link and then I click on view log trace and you can see that I have generated some output. So we have here a PDF document of all of the applications that were routed on this job opening. So we have, um, and there's your test application, so not a lot of detail. And you can screen these um, here, save them um, as a document on your um, desktop or wherever you want to save them and um, have them available to share with other people that might be involved in your interview and selection process. 
you'll notice that this is a much more readable format than if you tried to print these from your manage applicant page and then you can also for any resumes that were submitted by the applicant applicants you can open those resumes here and again you can save them um, on your desktop if you so desire which is what I would recommend actually so that's how you run the detailed application report and you just return back to where you were go back to Vermont detailed application if I wanted to then also run a routed candidate list which I will sh I won't go through the steps here but I'll show you the output I would choose the same path recruiting reports and then I would choose the Vermont qualified candidate list so I ran my report to obtain my Vermont um, detailed candidate list and it's posted so I'm going to click on details view log trace and I'm looking for the PDF document and this is a list of my routed candidates and their status so as we manage this applicant list we will have the ability to see in one document everyone that applied and was routed so that is how you review the status of applications and the content of their applications and resumes and obtain reports for the detailed candidate list or the detailed applications in other videos we will show you how to take action on these applicants in the system thank you